tutorials, let's hack some shitty IoT security appliances. Today I'm going to show you Thingbox. Thingbox is some sort of a small access point router based on Orange Pi something, if I remember correctly, that is advertised to be to keep your internet safe and secure. Okay, cool. Let's see how secure is this crap. So I already got figured out the pins for URT and I wanted to show you how funny is this time to get root. So now we boot, we could stop the booting sequence. So in this case, you know, print tab and then playing with ENSH uh, in init. But I won't do that now. I just want to reboot again and show you how to get root in this lovely piece of hardware with this recovery thingy. So first I recover, I make factory reset, so it will take a while. So in case you can skip the video to a few seconds, most likely. Now is you know, restoring the entire fire system. So he's doing factory reset. Let's see how it goes. takes a while so just sit tight take the popcorns Rebooting, we managed to factory restore this crap. Now, let it boot. Don't go in your boot, you won't need it. Okay, meanwhile, this booting, I will show you what I have done. So, I've created uh, a yeah, account on login uh, on Ubuntu single sign on register with my lovely email and then added my public SSH key here and I guess now you will probably understand why okay still booting so practically this lovely piece of hardware is based on Ubuntu snappy core something like that I never heard before actually it's quite interesting so the idea is that once you boot the, the this hardware it pops up this press enter to configure and I thought what the fuck what is this configure so I press a couple of times configure enter and now he's doing something on the background most likely loading that little wizard and voila Ubuntu core configure the network okay press okay here everything got the IP already and now the magic comes.
Enter my mail address. So we dot ninja. Come. Now wait for contacting the store. What he's doing now is going on the internet, contacting some login.ubuntu API and pulling my public key. For some reason he's low as fuck. Maybe he's contacting some god knows C2 server in the meanwhile, but eventually soon will succeed. Takes a while. Come on, motherfucker. It takes more than a while. Come on, I'm getting old. No? Yay! Here. We got it. Okay, 121. Okay. Copy. Paste. Of course, the private key is already in my SSH directory. Yes! Yay! Who am I? Think boss, the user. I registered the SSH key. And now, sudo su. Ooh, root, who am I? Ooh, hurrah. That's that, man, and top. Eee. And now, if we leave it, you know, like this, in a few minutes, we'll pop up uh, new processes that will start the, you know, active scanning of, you know, the network, you know, doing the security appliance job. Anyway, I wanted to show you this first time I see this way to get root. I mean, <laughs> It's super funny. I mean, I don't know who threat model this shit, but I mean, it's, you know, usual IoT security appliance crap. So, yeah. So just, if you want to have more fun, just, you know, try Thingbox. I guess there is plenty of stuff around, like, 